Marriage is a one flesh relationship that should never be severed. The commitment you make today is a lifetime commitment. You can choose to love because Christ chose to love you. Your commitment to love, I want to repeat, is a choice. Love is a choice because obedience is a choice. And my encouragement to you is, by God's grace, love each other, respect one another. God, we praise you and we thank you for the gift of marriage. Father, we pray that you will be glorified by not only the ceremony, but also the two lives being united today. As Sam and Lindsay begin their lives together, let their hearts be one with a continued desire to make Christ the center of their lives. Father, we pray that those of us who are married would be reminded of the high call of marriage and the vows we have committed to our spouses. May their families and our church family be supportive of Sam and Lindsay and challenge them to pursue a Christ-centered life together. God, we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. As a sign, these two families are joining today. Sam and Lindsay have decided to represent this by a tree that they will plant at their home. To represent the love and example of marriage that has been shown to them by both their parents each parent has brought dirt from each one of their homes to begin the planning process. Sam and Lindsay will water this. And this is the hope and this is the blessing. May the water that nourishes this tree be representative of God's grace that nourishes your marriage today. May your marriage be an example for the generations. They unite your hearts together. So for as much as Sam and Lindsay have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I declare that Sam and Lindsay are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the state of Florida. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. <laughs> Sam, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Sam Shirley.
love shine like the stars. Take a breath where you stand. I'm forever here to hold your hand. Oh. Suns across the sky won't outshine my love for you. Far in the dark with a blinding light won't outshine my love for you. Step along the way. Whatever storms may arise, I'm forever here, right by your side. Oh. Across the sky, won't outshine my love for you. Far in the dark, with blinding light, won't outshine my love for you. Uh, I'm Matthew, Sam's brother, best friend, roommate, ex-roommate now, I guess. I'm still getting, uh, still getting used to that. He doesn't like the idea of me living in their third bedroom, and I don't, I don't understand it, but um, I just want to thank everyone for coming out, uh, helping to celebrate this uh, amazing day with this amazing couple. I've gone to Lindsay for countless decisions, um, from beginning my nursing career to applying to my first job, um, to wise counsel and just life advice in general. Um, and I got to thinking that in every big moment in my life, I can pinpoint how Lindsay got me there. Um, I value your opinions and advice more than you'll ever know. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> um, Sam, I obviously haven't known you quite as long as Lindsay, but I can already tell that God perfectly placed you in her life. Um, I had always hoped that she would find someone who was intentionally willing to protect her heart. And what better guy than a police officer, so. <laughs> um, you've taken your motto to protect and serve very seriously, so thank you for that. The way uh, Sam talks about you when you're not looking, or when you're not around. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not around, I mean, uh, it shows that you're an inspiration to him. Um, you make him a better man, you keep him grounded and humble, but you also push him to be a better person and leader. You're a great cook, which is a really good thing because I think the only thing I've seen Sam cook are uh, ground beef for nachos and chicken and rice. So it'll be a much needed variety for him and his diet. Um, Sam is strong, determined, hardworking, and smart. I've never seen someone uh, who is bad at math do so well on a math-based test as he just recently did here. Um, uh, Sam's funniest moments are when no one is around and he just says something completely random or brings up something you haven't thought about in years. So you have plenty of moments like that to look forward to. Um, Sam is a great teammate. I've played soccer with him for many years. And whether he's coming off the bench or starting the game, he's always willing to do whatever needs to be done to win the game or make his team successful. So because of that, I know that you guys will be a great team. Um, I wish you both well in marriage, but I've never had more faith in a couple than you guys. So. Thank you for that. Sam and Lindsay, let today be the building block for the years to come. Um, we all know that you both are very big on community. Um, you're so involved and willing to support others, but also remember that you have this entire room, plus some, um, to support you in the same ways. Um, Sam, I hope you love growing old with her as much as I loved growing up with her. So, the end. <laughs> They say you should marry your best friend, but that couldn't happen because I'm his brother. <laughs> so that would be weird. That being said, because of that, I want to transfer my best friend title to you, Lindsay. Uh, he's a great listener, 
and super fun to pick on when no one's around. Uh, he will make you laugh and cry, but he'll always have your back. Um, he's the best friend anyone could ever ask for. And Sam is truly been a honor, being your best friend and brother for the last 25 years. Um, I, I wish you both the best of luck. Um, but I will need some bro time lenses, so you're going to have to get used to that. <laughs> so thank you. So Heavenly Father, I stand before you with a heart full of joy and thanksgiving as my son begins a new life with the one he loves. Today is a day of joy, hope, and love, and I pray for your boundless blessings upon them as they unite in marriage and take this next step on their journey together. May their life together reflect the beauty and enduring love that comes from you, Guide them, O oh Lord, in every decision they make. Let their home be built on the rock of your truth. Grant them the patience to understand each other, the strength to support one another, and the wisdom to love unconditionally as you love us. Lord, I ask that you empower my son to be a gentle, loving, and supportive husband, embodying the principles of love, respect, and kindness that comes from you. May their journey together bring them closer to you, experiencing your grace, peace, and joy in every step they take together. As they step into this new chapter, I place them under your mighty protection, trusting that your love will shine upon them, guiding them in love and in truth. Bless their marriage with happiness, understanding, and hope for a beautiful future together. In Jesus' name I pray. So, Linz, I was made to be a girl daddy, your daddy, and it's one of the best times that I've had in my life. From the moment we knew you, I was thinking of all the things that I could do with you. I loved playing Legos with you, letting you do my hair, teaching you how to fix stuff, waiting in line at the Gershwin Theater three nights in a row. <clears throat> to get Jessica Vaughn's autograph <clears throat> and watching Disney movies again and again. <clears throat> but really, I loved it. I'd even listen to the High School Musical soundtracks. Do they call them soundtracks anymore? Songs. <clears throat> At work, so I knew the lyrics and could sing along with you. I loved learning with you in your FFA journey, learning how to drive a pig, shave a goat, groom a rabbit, and bathe chickens before the fair. Now let me just tell you, those chickens looked impeccable. <laughs> so right around the time that Lindsay was in middle school, I discovered what it meant to spend quality time with your kids. 
It was God's plan of sowing and reaping. You had to sow or invest a quantity of time to reap the quality time. I recall this one time where she was dealing with something at school, but she wasn't opening up. We were preparing an old metal shed to be her chicken coop. I had asked her a few questions about school and got the typical one word responses. I wanted so much to demand that she opened up to me. After all, I'm her dad, but that's not how Lindsay rolled at the time. Instead, I had to let the awkward silence, the camaraderie of working together, and the investment of time play out so that she felt comfortable opening up, opening up to me. I learned about the value of patience and bonding with Lindsay. From that moment on, I knew that I had to invest more time with Lindsay to strengthen our bond, one that I would not trade. I also knew that Jennifer and I needed to invest time in helping Lindsay think for herself. We raised you to own your own faith and not lean on ours. That's why it warmed my heart that one time at a sleepover with your friends, you were able to share about the true meaning of Easter and how it was part of the covenant relationship we have with God. I loved being able to teach you what I knew about how and why things worked and how to research that sort of stuff on your own. So yes, I am to blame if Lindsay starts explaining something to you. <clears throat> but I love that you love to learn. <clears throat> I love you with all my heart. And I cannot be prouder of the young woman you have become and the choice that you made in a husband. Now enter Sam. <clears throat> After a couple of dates, I turned to Jen and said, I can see what's happening. And they don't have a clue. They'll fall in love and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. The sweet caress of twilight. There's magic in the air. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disasters in the air. Now, I could just imagine. I could just imagine what Sam was thinking and telling Lindsay on their dates. It was probably something like, I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. And I thought, from over here, it's crystal clear that now she's in a whole new world with you. And then Sam, in alignment with Genesis 2.23, y'all can look it up later. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. And life is like a song. That's all the singing. <clears throat> Now, my advice to Lindsay on dating and marriage is not original, but from an old friend of mine, Eddie Sims. Run fast towards God. When you see someone next to you, say hello. From what I know, that's exactly what both Sam and Lindsay did. You see, we always knew Lindsay needed a man, a real man and not a boy. Sam, you are exactly that man that she needed. I've always loved you, Sam even before I knew who you were. I knew I would love the right guy for my little girl. 
So thank you for being the strong Christian man that Lindsay needs in a husband. You're taking my place today as the man who will be there for her when her heart breaks and will comfort her in her times of need. You'll make her laugh and hopefully limit the times you make her cry. But cherish her, cherish her for everything. Her laugh, her smile, her eyes, and the way she makes you feel. Yes, cherish her when you're cleaning her hair out of the dream. <laughs> because one day in the future, you might hand off your daughter to a man who, has cho who she has chosen to love, and she will live to spend the rest of her life with him. But today, you join your life with a girl and are so taken by her that you want to spend the rest of your life with her. She will be the prettiest, most wonderful woman that you ever met, and you'll agree with God that she was well worth the wait. So marriage is a covenant relationship between a husband and a wife. It is one that I know so well from being married to my bride and the unconditional love that I have received. You see, it's the most special relationship here on earth that should mirror the new covenant we have with God. As it is with the tradition of covenant, we are to put on the other person. Quite literally, the two become one and independent living is given up. We are to take on each other's enemies. And remember, you're not each other's enemies. But you should be willing to come to your partner's defense and stand with them against their enemies whoever or whatever they may be. And lastly, we are to lean, to loan our strength to our partner or claim theirs when ours is not enough. So let me leave you with the poem that holds a special place in my heart, first as a husband and now a dad. Woman was made for man, not from his head, to be above him, nor from his feet to be stepped upon. She was made from his side to be equal to him, underneath his arm to be protected by him, close to his heart to be loved by him. So everyone, please raise your glass. And join with me in toasting Sam and Lindsay. To the groom, to the bride, from this mister who is full of loving pride. Toast. <laughs>